Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now, today we have got a very, very, very much interesting one. And let's just hop right in. We're just rolling through the grass. No worries at all. This all here looks obviously very, very nice. This is, uh, as always, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator fashion. This is extremely beautiful. No other flight simulator like this has grass implemented at all, even. So this looks very, very nice. But we have got something even uh, more interesting interesting just ahead you're about to see it's taking me a little bit too long all right there we go all right and um actually now it is going down and when i say it's going down i mean it's going down jesus christ yes we have entered another dimension i guess this looks extremely interesting and what kind of trip are we oh wow what was that oh uh, that was that was an interesting crash as well. Oh, oh, whoa, we have now completely left the planet. Yeah, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is not edited. This is just the normal game as you install it. And this is actually what happens if you go to the airport of, I actually don't remember the name, but its code is Sierra Bravo Lima Golf. Guess what we are? We're actually in the northeastern part of Brazil, uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, actually. This is uh, one of the only airports around the area. And and uh, as you can tell, it's completely broken. Like, genuinely. Jesus Christ. Depending on how you come in, this looks even more interesting, especially here with the buildings as well. This is clearly messed up. What did they try to do here? Um, let's just check out these houses as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got some uh, interesting tr structures here. Oh, whoa, wow, what was, that? what was that? And now we've completely left the planet. Like, genuinely, we're gone. I think something that's now happened is that we've actually glitched into the wall of this hole, and um, we're now here now. We're Cessna Citation CJ4. Can we go to cockpit view? Maybe that, that'll be a fix. Yep, we are inside of Earth, pretty much, right? I think we can actually see space here as well. Uh, that is what's happening. Connection lost. Okay, that's interesting. I know that I have a stable internet connection, so we now know that Microsoft Flight Simulator is genuinely broken, isn't it? <laughs> All right, maybe we can get out of here with the uh, cheats. There we go. Yep, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 for you. Let's see if this airport is at all somewhat usable. Of course, it's, it's not. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe we can, uh, you know, this is more of a harder landing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I mean, a landing is a landing, isn't it? I mean, we do have got some very, very powerful planes here as well, so, hmm. Maybe there is some chance of actually getting out of this place, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, the airport is called Lagoa Nova. Uh, very, very interesting indeed. But let's go ahead and um, try some other planes. I mean, we have got a UFO here. This one has the problem of not actually showing up as a plane. It's just invisible, but it does have you know, work as a plane, apparently, here in the flight simulator. And it's actually got some serious power, so let's check it out. All right, oh, even the loading screen here just when spawning into the airport is completely bugged. Again, I think that's what happens if the camera is actually looking through the earth. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Okay, come on, UFO. Let's get out of here. Let's go full power. Show me what you've got. Oh, all right. I think we can get out. Come on, more power. Oh, yeah, this plane doesn't work. I mean, this plane doesn't generally work, but here in the hole, it doesn't work like at all. Come on, let's have a takeoff. There we go. Yes, it looks like we're actually getting out of this hole. Oh, oh. Right, now we've now completely glitched out, haven't we? And we're now falling back in again. That's not good. Yeah, this is totally an unusable airport. Uh, let's maybe try one more thing. Maybe a smaller plane now. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, the flight simulator has completely crashed now. That is actually very interesting. Let's, uh, get back in here. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding. Jesus Christ. A mandatory update is available? Please, no. Does it really have to install this update now? It would be very, very much ironic if after I install this update, it's fixed. That would genuinely be the funniest thing today. So, uh, let's actually, let's install the update that's just been released just at the point of recording this video at 5 p.m. 44 on Tuesday here September 29th. That is very interesting indeed. So let's uh, just download it. They have genuinely released an 8 gigabyte patch here for the flight simulator just while I'm recording the video. <laughs> that is uh, so ironic. But here in the patch notes they actually do say that uh, they have changed some airports. Uh, 60 airports improvements actually. So maybe our interesting bugged airport is fixed now. So let's check it out. Uh, come on. Just download already. It's been a while here. Uh, <laughs> it says game may crash 
smash of the VFRMA? Piss? Yeah, not even the patch note is properly written. It should be map, of course. Oh, all right. Now, the loading screen is different. They now apparently have Japan as a theme, but I genuinely only want to fly to that Brazilian place again. Let's go. All right, let go on Nova. Let's go. Oh, oh, yes. It's not been patched. It's still there. Oh, fucking idiots. That is absolutely hilarious. Now, of course, let's give this video a little bit of a sense. Oh, all right. Of course, I just want to give this video a little bit of a meaning. Now, why does this happen? Jesus Christ. God damn it. Mm -mm. Now, uh, how did this all happen? Now, obviously, as you can probably tell, there is some elevation data wrong here uh, in the whole area, actually. And with the elevation data being broken, I mean that the airfield in the database is noted to be at a very much lower altitude than the rest of the area. What I should think is that this is a major bug here in the whole area of the, the northwest region of Brazil. They probably very, very much overestimated the whole elevation of this area. As you can see right here, this map also shows terrain. And there's this huge dot just randomly here in the landscape, uh, which is definitely a bug. Let's actually just go as high as we can and see what the hell actually went wrong here. I mean, you can tell the area surrounding the airport has an elevation of 10,000 feet here in the flight simulator, which in no way is realistic. I mean, just look at the ocean here. It's very close to this whole area. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Well, this is actually a major bug here in the database, isn't it? I mean, right now we are located outside of the glitched zone at 3,000 feet. Uh, usually there is flat land in the area, as you can see, pretty much in the whole of East Brazil. But if we just continue here with the cheats, we just casually crash into mountains. The terrain keeps ascending, and that is definitely a bug here. We have to keep going up until we reach the area of our infamous uh, bugged airport. Oh, oh yeah, that is not, that is not good. Yep, def definitely something went totally wrong here here and we have now completely entered hell haven't we all right where's the where's the airport we have to find it <laughs> jesus i mean this looks kind of fancy doesn't it wow this actually does look cool now by the way i think this bug will definitely take a while to uh, get fixed right i mean you know this is not a very easy oh everything is broken i wonder how the video will look like actually that's definitely a lot of interesting bit rights here that are completely bugging out youtube will definitely not like this video because uh, you know of the encoding that it has. All right, here it is. It's a head. Okay, now we are officially inside of the terrain. What the hell is going on? Oh, and, uh, oh, wow. I think n down here we can actually see how the terrain is actually supposed to look like here in the area, and we have hit something. Oh, yeah, now we definitely have. Yeah, right now we're at an altitude of 700 feet, and this is completely broken in the... Oh, there we go. I think we have... Yeah, we are back at our little airfield, aren't we? And for some reason our plane is working again. That's weird. All right, so, uh, that is my saw a flight simulator for you. It's definitely not perfect. I wonder if anyone watching from Brazil actually lives here in this area. Uh, maybe you should let me know, but whatever. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.